In this video help, I'm going to be covering the inventory list screen. For demonstration purposes, the data in this is incomplete because it's a preliminary uh, set of information for the inventory. I did do two records where I indicated the proper uh, information that's installed, and I want to point out the difference on the on-hand field right away. This is a field that is auto-formatted, that if the low level is equal to or less than the quantity on hand, which is here, then this will not be in red, which means that the balance of actual on hand is where it's supposed to be. But I'm going to show you here, if I change this low level to 1, that it's going to turn this field red. And this would indicate anything in red on this is a reorder. There is another screen that is actually set up uh, in a report that will do similar to this as far as showing you items that need to be ordered, but I also added it to this screen so that it would be obvious uh, when you're looking at it. Uh, the screen, the list view, is the list of all records, the individual records in the database for the inventory items, so that each record will have its own inventory item uh, product code, and the description can be the same, and as I pointed out earlier, if you're putting these in here with the store location in them in parents, then there would be duplicates of this record with a different uh, suffix on the end of it based on what store it's going to be sent to. So that would be one of the things that you need to have properly set up in order to have these records correct. Uh, another thing you'll see here is that I did have the actual uh, stocking location with the store name actually added, which was done within the inventory screen. The data that's in this screen is edited in the uh, main inventory screen and displayed here, but you can do finds for certain things, like if you want to look for a group by the category ID. This is really where the category comes into play, where if you're looking for some kind of an item, for example, they say strollers, and you may have an, uh, maybe five different strollers on hand, but there's up to 30 or 50 of them that you could purchase and have delivered to your business then the ideal situation is to have all of those listed as well. And then you would have the ability to place an order and within a very short period of time, deliver the item for the person that may have walked in and actually was looking for one of the items that you could do a catalog drop ship on. So with that in hand and that knowledge, that would be very helpful to you work, to work with the uh, find and perform the find. And you can also look for partial words within a product name if you wanted to for a specific thing like diaper bag blue and see only the diaper bags that are blue if there were a number of them. And the same thing goes for those other hardware items that you may want to look up or even uh, things like diapers, a special one that's maybe a, uh, an eco di diaper that is uh, self-destructive uh, where it would... Uh, disintegrate in uh, the plumbing system so that you don't have uh, residue in the uh, sewage system. So those are just some things that this particular POS app was designed to do. And specifically for your type of a POS, these also could have different modifications to really ideally work for your particular application. And as you can see, they do have uh, port purchase and inventory buttons allowing you to return to the purchase or inventory screens and then the main menu to return to the main menu. If you have any questions about how to use this a particular screen, you can contact me through the support site. Thank you.